binafsi ni na watu wengi sana ninaofahamiana nao ambao tumejuana kwenye kipindi hiki cha zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano ya kufanya kazi hii. Wengi wao hushia stories zao mbali mbali za maisha yao yaliyojaa kupanda na kushuka nami. Sote tunajua maisha ni milima na mabonde na kila siku kuna mafunzo mapya katika maisha yetu. Hizi ni baadhi ya hizo story ambazo watu hawa hukutana au wamekutana nazo katika maisha yao ambazo zitakufanya usome, uwaze au uangalie vitu kwa umakini zaidi na pia kujifunza. Mimi ni salama. Hawa ni rafiki zangu na sote tunakukaribisha wewe kwenye salama na Napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kukusalimia. Asante kwa kujiunga na sisi popote pale ulipo. Hii ni salama na na usually kwenye meza tunamleta mtu ambaye ana story mbili tatu za kufanya wewe ujiulize maswali mawili matatu kuhusu yeye au kama ulikuwa na maswali mawili matatu kuhusu yeye basi leo ndo siku ya kupata majibu. Unaweza kutufollow tuko kwenye social media na tunasikiliza sana maoni yako au kitu chochote ambacho unataka kutuambia ili kitufanye sisi kituwe bora zaidi. Majina yetu huko ni Yaston Town tuko kwenye Twitter, Instagram na Facebook. Karibu sana kwenye Salama na Mina. Hujambo? Si jambo mambo. Oh, nikajua utaniambia chechei. Chechei. <laughs> ah, bibi. <laughs> Asante sana kwa kutukaribisha salama na na sisi tuko tayari. Karibu Mwana. sana bidada. Ushawahi kujisikia vibaya kwa sababu tu una accent ambayo ni tofauti na watu ambao uko nao? Ah, hapana. Okay. La lafuzi I was going to find this give vibaya. All right. So easy tu yani. Eh fresh. Actually I am uh, nina changamoto ya ku copy lafuzi fast bila akili yangu kujua kwamba ina copy. Okay. You too, yeah? Yes. Uh, nakumbuka kuna weekend moja nilienda Pemba bwana. <laughs> <laughs> By the time naondoka Pemba, oi, <laughs> mimi na Pemba yani hatuna tofauti. Ah mimi usifanye hivyo. <laughs> Within two days. Uvodi kwa ni lazima mama kwa alinuna sasa. Yeah, wakati naondoka sasa tulienda naye. Kwa hiyo mama kana no, anashangaa no. anasema wewe nayo usijifanyishe siku mbili tu ukaka Pemba. <laughs> uh, it's because I don't know what happens to me lakini najiona kama na, na, na shika lafuzi za watu faster sana. Yeah. Kwa ni mchazo yeye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same I think. Nadhani ni rahisi sana kwangu hata hata kucheka naweza nika, nika, nikaanza kucheka kama huyo ambaye mtu ambaye na spend naye muda. Uh, yaani okay, yes, yeah. Yani, na inatokea subconsciously. Yes. Si kwamba una unajua mpaka unakuja unajishtukiza unacheka kama nani. Kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa. Uh, okay, okay, so karibu sana. Um, Thank you. Eh, mimi najivunia wewe. I'm sure hata watu ambao wako ndani kwa kazi nzuri ambayo umekuwa ukifanya sio kwa muda mrefu sana kama mimi lakini kwa kipindi kifupi umeweza kukonga nyoyo za watu wengi and um, we ni mtu mzuri sana i just wanted you to know that kabla tujadiliane na mambo mengi acha hatari umekucha na inyoa maji aji biji biji unadhani kwa sababu gani thank you karibu unadhani kwa sababu gani carol ni la round uh, i don't know you don't Mm-hmm. Lakini come to think of it umeshaikuwa na karo ya square. Unajua juu inakuwa square. Mm-hmm. Alafu nadhani ukishafungua ndio inakuwa round. Ndio. Kile cha juu kikava kile akiwani. Yaani mara chache sana lakini siku zote karo linakuwa la round. Mm. Okay, I'll tell you why. Why? Ni kwa sababu apparently likiwa la round ni, ni sio rahisi hata kudumbukia ndani. Yes. Mbona visima round watu wanadumbukia ndani? Sasa huyo ni mtu. <laughs> Shida ni kuogopa. Nazungumzia mfuniko wake. Ndio maana wamelitengeneza likawa la round na sio square. Anyways, ukitoka hapo utaenda kusoma. I think tulikuwa tunaongelea makaro tofauti. Ndio uh-huh. nimegundua. Oh. Unaongelea karo ya choni. Yeah, hata zile za barabara. Ni zile za barabara. Hata mimi naongelea za barabara. Ah, uh, okay. But why? What's the point? <laughs> why? <laughs> Why karo? Ndio hivyo swali la siku nyingine. Eh lini ulijua una, unaweza kutangaza na watu uh, wakakusikiliza. Sina uhakika wa umri lakini ni kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinajijenga within time. Uh, mara ambayo mimi naikumbuka na kuiacknowledge babangu alikuwa mwandishi wa habari. 
uh, kwa Zanzibar ama naweza kusema hata huku mainland ukisikia mwandishi wa habari wewe unajua ni mtangazaji ni ndo hao hao umeelewa <laughs> wanaongea sana ni mwandishi wa habari you know uh, so there's once niliingia saluni um, kusuka na katika process ile ya kusuka hmm. nikajikuta nimeingilia mazungumzo ya watu wazima ambao walikuwa pale saluni and i was i was a child i was very young watu wanaongea eh hey, yani alichofanya sio kizuri kabisa kusema ukweli mtu mzima aambiwe <laughs> <laughs> katika kuingilia mazungumzo one of the women there akasema huyo si mtoto wa fulani atakuja kwa kama babake babake mwandishi wa habari mm-hmm. kama matani and i don't know what happened lakini hiyo sentence ika, ika stick kichwani so nakumbuka mpaka nakuwa nilikuwa nataka kuwa kama baba yangu bila kujua exactly baba yangu ni nani mm-hmm. so it was just nataka kuwa kama baba yangu hiyo ilikuwa namna moja namna nyingine niliwahi kumuuliza baba yangu nilimuona niliona um, mtangazaji wa TVZ kwenye TV nikamuuliza baba huyu nikitaka kuongea naye naweza yule mzee yule mzee naye akaniambia yeye unaweza unataka kuongea naye akaambia yeye akaambia wewe ongea tu hapo nikaanza naambia wewe wewe makao wapi wewe kimbidi hicho mimi naongea nile wana kao wapi wewe kwani mbona unatokea kwa TV na ongea na TV so i think there, there was so many signs that the universe or let's say god was giving me kwamba hii ndo hii ndo sehemu ambayo nitaelekea so oh nilivokuwa it was i just had to put the pieces together and know this is probably what i'm meant for okay are you happy i'm half happy and i'm half sad na furaha alafu na na manuno sijielewi kwa sasa kwa sababu gani I don't know nadhani ni ubinadamu tu kwamba kuna times unajiona you're, you're happy you're on top of the world kuna times i break down i'm just inferior and, mm. and, and, and very small so i'm happy sad it's okay <laughs> try kuweka you happy you were like 75% nyingine mm. unaobaki unaachia and uh, you shouldn't worry about it. that don't concern you Eh um, mara mwisho kumnunulia mtu zawadi ilikuwa lini? Nadhani haifiki mwezi. Kuna rafiki yangu nilimnulia nilimnulia kikombe cha cha lens ya kamera. Aha. Yeah, likiwa na dukani. Nilenda kufanya shoot za nyingine nikakiona. I was like, "Oh, flani itampendeza ni, ni, nikampelekea." Okay. Yes. That's nice. Alipenda lazima. Alipenda. Wewe kununuliwa zawadi? Mimi kiukweli sikumbuki lakini mimi jamani nanunuliwa sana. Zawadi, zawadi sana. Wanakupatia. Sometimes ni ni mashabiki tu. Sometimes ni marafiki. You know. So I, I get a lot of alhamdulillah. Okay. Ni flavor gani sasa? Ni special. Okay. Special ndio inakuwa gani? Jaribu utajua. Asante sana mama. Thank you. Hmm. Eh. Hey. Na mrija mimi huu mrija ushaona wewe taratibu <laughs> ah mimi mrija wa glass huu <laughs> taratibu sio kavunja hivyo basi <laughs> haya eh <laughs> mdogo mdogo mm. eh nice karibu sana kitu gani cha kuchekesha ambacho umekisikia hivi karibu ni hmm. nimesikia <laughs> <laughs> Sijasikia <laughs> nimeona. Huyu <laughs> mtu atanichukia sana. Uh, kuna kuna rafiki yangu ambaye sasa hivi ni msimamizi wangu. <laughs> Ananisaidia uh, kwenye issues tofauti. So let's say my manager somehow hmm. yeah. lakini hatujafika huko tunaelekea huko. Right. Tulienda kwenye seminar na yeye. <laughs> Tulika kwenye hiyo seminar. Uh, at least nusu siku. Ilikuwa ni seminar muhimu sana picha nyingi ukiziangaliza kwake kutoka kwenye hiyo seminar alikuwa yuko chini kwenye notebook anaandika jana kwa bahati mbaya mzuri zile notebook ya kwake na kwangu tofotoka kwenye seminar kumbe ziweka kwa bigira jana nikabahatisha kukuta zile notebook mhm nikaona ya kwangu nikaona na ya kwake nikafungua kwa nikakuta ameandika sentence mbili <laughs> Semina nusu siku ameandika sentence. <laughs> na wakati picha zote iko busy ameina ameina mimi. Sentence ya kwanza alafu azirelate na tumchapata na 
Sentenza kwanza ameandika watu wanaotengeneza habari ni mamilionea sana. I know it's, I know it's stupid. Watu wanakaja sema na kuzo siko. Hapo unaenda unaandika unaandika sentence mbili. Sentence ya pili ni kwa wanaokupenda watakuamini wasikupenda sijui nini sijui kidogo alafu ilikuwa serious na ukimwangalia kwa Yesu wewe unamwona huyu jamaa na yeye yao labda labda ndo alichoelewa jamani una hakika vikusemwa hivyo vitu katika sema amejasema yale yasimisha amesema amejasema amejasema kachukua hiyo kata skaichana akaitupia hapa amejasema anasema walisema watu wanaandaa habari mamilioni nyingi ambao hawajasema yale labda ulikuwa chooni mimi na pengine watakuwa wamesema bwana hivyo kichoni sijaenda mimi nimeandika page sita na nusu na nimeondoka pale na my insight najiona nimesoma. <laughs> Mwamba ana sentence mbili yaani. Mbili. So that's that's the last thing that made me laugh. Ukimjua zaidi huyu mtu utaelewa ni mtu wa vituko sana. Kwa hiyo maana ni ilikuwa ilikuwa funny kwa. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully amechukua mahali matatu lakini. Wa sentence zile. Sijui. <laughs> 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 Kwa, kwa mfano ukiambua uelezee rangi nyekundu kwa mtu ambaye haoni unaweza kumwambia vipi eh, Swali ngumu ni rangi Bora <laughs> chaka habla sio Okay ni, ni rangi ambayo inatumika kumaanisha vitu vingi Kama mtu ambaye huoni ukijikata damu inayotoka na kwaga rangi hii. Lakini pia sijui kwa nini ila watu huwa wanaitumia kuashiria mapenzi pia. Ah, eh yeah, rangi nyekundu. Very good. And at the same time watu wanaitumia kuashiria classy. Ukifaa high heels flani nyekundu au ka dress kafupi watu wana, wana tabia ya kuassociate na class. Kwa ni rangi flani. Okay. Sawa sawa. Nimependa nimeelewa eh yeah. nimeelewa kwa nini huoni kama unavuna nimevaa miwani <laughs> kwa sometimes naona sometimes sioni niambie kuhusu baba yako you high you high alhamdulillah uh, namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu um, ni mtu mzuri sana 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 ni mtu ambaye <coughs> wakati nakuwa stories zake siku zote ni namna ya anapendaga sana ku keep amani. Anaambia chochote kinachotokea usijikute kwenye stage unapigana. Mm. Yaani pambana uondoke. Filosofi nyingi ambazo nazijua zinanisaidia kuniendesha kwenye maisha yangu ni za kwake. Ni baba ambaye tangu nazaliwa nimemuona akimpiga mtu siku moja hajawahi kunipiga mimi nobody amewahi kumpiga kaka yangu <laughs> na it was funny kwa sababu kipindi hicho tulikuwa watundu tulikuwa wadogo forozani unajua pale kuna ile kuna ile uh, maga, nani miwa wala watoto wanaokota miwa walijioni mm-hmm. bana brother yangu siku hiyo kachelewa nyumbani siji kaona kaona kama sirudi au vipi sijaelewa lakini akaenda pale so babangu alipata taarifa kwamba kaka yangu siku hizi na yeye anaokota miwa pale kama wale watoto. Bas tukaenda kanza kuita wale watoto. Mimi nilikuwa namcheka. Anaita wale watoto anaambia, "Mshidi kwa api yeye?" Kwa api ile ile anapokea. Wakamuelekeza yuko pale. Ana kwenye shughuli zake za kuokota miwa. Anakula maganda ya miwa, "Mshidi, I'm sorry." Anakula maganda ya fito zile za miwa. Sio cha tengenezwa juice nini? Eh, ile ile side okay. ile zina katoa yeah, zile asimi. Kigundo. So babangu hapo mkuta kwa sababu anakula kigundo, akauliza wengine, "Sasa mbona nyie mnagula miwa huyu mnampa hizi?" Alboliza kwa mbona sasa tunagula hizo hizo. <laughs> so uh, that's that's the most I've seen my dad angry. He was very angry. Nakumbuka akawa sasa akili namwambia kwamba huyu mtoto lazima ni muadhibu. Lakini yeye simpigaji. Akachukua maganda 
ya, ya miwa yale ya mm. ya yeah. akaanza kumpiga kaka yangu kwenye miguu so kaka yangu akata ayumi atikisiki kwa hiyo sasa mimi na kaka yangu kabii tumcheke uh, namna gari hajui hata kupiga mtoto mm. and haikuishia hai vizuri hiyo 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 story lakini cha msingi ni kwamba ni mtu humble kivyo vyote vile yuko tayari kunielewa yani yeah. as much as ni ngumu kwake ni ame, amechagua kubadilika kwa ajili ya kunifahamu so i think he's honestly the best dad ever i like that i like the last part of usema kwamba ameamua kubadilika kwa ajili yako cuz nimejiongeza tu kwamba maisha ambayo wao walikuwa wanaishi sio ambayo sisi tunaishi sasa hivi yeah but he's good as long as una uko kwenye mstari ambao yeye ameuchora na haujaupita yeah na, na akiona una changamoto utasema basi nielekeze nielewe he, he wants to uh, kama mzazi wa kawaida anataka akugombeze kama ameona umefanya kitu labda umepost picha instagram hajapenda anataka anigombeze lakini before kunigombeza sometimes atapanic atakugombeza sometimes before that anakwambia nielekeze nifahamu mm. so utamuelekeza naweza nikamwambia ah baba uko BSS wana stylist wao ndio huyo kanivisha hiyo nguo yeah. ukishamuelekeza hivyo atajibu ah basa next time nitahidi you know mm-hmm. so before haja judge au kukurukia huwa anapenda aelekeze aelewe the situation yeah. yeah nice when did you know kwamba sasa hivi nimekuwa uh, it's a tough question lakini ni nadhani nimewahi kukua mara nyingi nyanja <laughs> tofauti okay every day i grow kila na, na kila ninapohisi nimekuwa na kuwa tena na jengine linakuja linanifanya nikue zaidi uh, but time ambayo nilijiona nimekuwa na hisi nilikuwa nimeanza ku chase uh, ndoto zangu East Africa Television kuna kitu kilitokea nilikuwa mdogo lakini kuna situation ilitokea Nakumbuka usiku sana nikakaa nikawaza it just ring ring in my head i said uh, nilipitia wakati mgumu sana kitu kitotokea ya nikasema hiki ninachopitia leo actually ile mindset naifurahia kwa sababu inasaidia mpaka leo nikasema hiki kitu ambacho napitia leo i do not think sidhani kama kuna kitu ama kuna jaribu kubwa zaidi ambalo litawahi kutokea kwa maisha lolote litakalokuja ni dogo juu ya hili so if i win this hakuna ambalo sitoshinda right now nikirudi nikiangalia kile kitu kilikuwa kikubwa yeah. umeona mm-hmm. lakini kwa mindset yangu ya kitoto mm-hmm. lile lilikuwa jambo kubwa sana kwangu kwa hiyo kutoka kwenye ile situation nikaamua tu nimekuwa na huwezi amini ilikuwa ni situation ndogo lakini kutoka pale nimekutana na situation ngumu zaidi na zaidi lakini kila inayokuja akili inaniambia kubwa zaidi ushalipita ayote ah, madogo lile lile nakumbuka siku ile nilisema hutakaa ukutwe na challenge na, na hiyo siku niliingia facebook niliandika ya maneno nikajiambia yani lile lile ulijiambia kwamba lime happen haudhani kama litakuja kubwa zaidi ya hili basi alitokuja wendo it's it it's it so i don't believe as much as it's childish it's, it's just in my head siamini kama naweza kupitia kitu kikubwa kama kile na kama kile niliweza kukikonka ama kukivuka basi hakuna ambacho siwezi kuvuka that is the day i grew up nice i like unajiona wapi baada ya miaka mitano uh, baada ya miaka mitano insha allah mwenyezi mungu anifikishe zaidi i, I really natamani sana kwa, kwa, kwa international amen natamani sana kufanya kariya yangu on an international angle natamani kusomea film natamani kukuza biashara zangu zaidi na zaidi uh, lakini most importantly natamani kuinua familia yangu inshallah mtu akisema usimkopeshe hela ndugu yako ume umeelewa nini hapo yani mimi ndo sasa hivi naelewa hilo kuliko mtu mwingine yote cha nini na mimi okay nitakupa nita logic ndogo sana tutolea mfano tu kakaangu ambaye hata haumii mushi nitakupesha mara ngapi urudishe arudishagi <laughs> Arudi shangi. Na ukiwa nanga wanakupa wana maneno mazito ambayo yatakuwa. Eh, 
Anasema yeye nishai mnanga ajarudishie langu akanambia wewe unakumbuka hata mimi nacheza mpira nileka shilingi 10000 kwenye begi ukaichukua eh sawa ile ilikuwa 10000 ya mimi aka hiyo sasa hivi tena 10000 akwambia ulikuwa unaenda kila siku unachukua 10000 yangu na kuona tu hivi so arudishagi bana au so akopeshe au wagaie kirosa na na kwenye kazi kukopesha mtu no 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 yani kama una kazi yako tuseme kama we na biashara zako mm. do you think it's wise to give your brother or your cousin majukumu pale labda yeye ndo anamweka kwenye front desk i think it's worth a try kwa sababu as much as yani naelewa kwamba ni ngumu kutumia familia kwa biashara lakini ni wako jaribu kwanza ni wako yule so sio wote watakwalify sio uko wako mzima utakwalify kupewa kufanya biashara na wewe wengine watakwalify ku unaweza ukawapa mtaji wengine ukawainua kwa namna nyingine lakini kama kuna ndugu yangu ambaye ana uwezo mzuri zaidi na ni mwaminifu wa kufanya kazi fulani sidhani kama natakiwa ni, 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 ni tafute mtu mwingine nje wakati naweza kumsaidia yeye kwanza okay. so i think it's worth a try na cha msingi ni kama imetokea kwamba haijaenda vizuri nitakumbuka maneno ya rafiki yangu Milad Ayo ambaye aliambiwa na mwalimu wake aliambiwa haijalishi kitu chochote kinachotokea malizana na watu vizuri okay do you drive yes ukiwa kwenye gari peke yako mara nyingi huwa unafikiria nini vitu vingi sana nyingine najiona niko kwenye video za muziki za marekani <laughs> <laughs> and break my heart hizo umeona Ah lakini nafikiria vingi sijui sasa hivi siwezi ku recall kitu gani exactly ila ni ni sehemu yako ya ya kuwaza na kuwazua vitu vyako kwa kweli sana <laughs> na na hisi nawaza sana nikiwa kwenye gari yani na kuwa mbali uh, naweza kuwa kwenye gari nikatengeneza script kabisa nikamaliza kichwani mm-hmm. nikifika nikaandika tu it's it's a place ambayo i don't know how how i do it but then i guess ukiwa mwanamke unaweza kwa sijui sijui how i do it let me not uh, overcoat it basi <laughs> 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 Chamsingi ni mwanza na kuepo na barabarani naona